we we're at Ren Lake guys we're gonna have a great time we got the Savage we got check this out just check it out guys we are about to put in and we got them we're ready Ren Lake today we're gonna be timber fishing deep water summer and let me tell you it's crispy 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 we're talking 70 degrees no humidity perfect day to be out on Ren Lake a kind of a low wind day so we're gonna be fishing timber all that great stuff we're about to put her in got the crappie breaks let's do this It's always a process. Putting your boat in by yourself is made a lot easier by these new trailers, though, I have to admit. But we in. We about to get it done today. White crappie, here we come. All right, for those guys that are not familiar with Ren Lake, it's located roughly in Benton, Illinois, 29 square miles. Great fishery for crappie. Primarily a white crappie and a lot of timber that we fish. We call it the mud hole. It's typically very dirty water, which is good for crappie fishing. And uh, sometimes I like to venture over here, for sure. I do some guiding on this lake as well, so very familiar with it. Today we're gonna be fishing deep timber. Um, that's gonna be at least the focus, see if they're there, which I'm sure they are. This is still the heart of the summer, regardless of the temperature today. Water temperature is still gonna be warm. Um, but at the end of the day, we're gonna be on the north ends, all over the place, looking for crappie. A lot of tournaments are on this lake, and so it's a lot of fun to get to know it more and more and uh, I think you guys are gonna enjoy today. We've got the Savage 13, we got hair jigs, we're not fishing with live bait, so hair jigs, rin like, that's the, gonna be what we're gonna be going with today. Um, let's put some fish in the boat. got our first fish here just dropping down first fish guys dropped down on a, quite a few of them actually and uh, that's the first guy that gave in let me show you good solid eater not the biggest fish but that's gonna be our starter for this episode nice white uh, of course we're letting them go now I'm gonna switch this up but this is what I've been using now, let me change this light so you guys can see me better there now that's a better light so this is what I'm fishing with, guys. That guy just bit on this gold. I always went with the gold, the gold jig heads, the gold bodies. When I go to Rim Lake, I always like to try those out. There's a period of every year that that just seems to be so good here. Um, so you guys can check those out at 3poundfishing.com. So uh, we're fishing with the Savage, a 13 footer. We got the just your optimized braid on. That's a 10 pounder. But we're gonna go with something. We're gonna go with a, um, Carrot. Carrot's probably one of my all-time favorites on this lake. So we're gonna give it a try right now. Gold seemed to be okay, so we might go back to the gold. But um, carrot, loud, obnoxious. These fish, I've dropped on quite a few, um, some very good ones actually, and they didn't wanna bite. Um, so we're gonna keep messing with colors and contrast to see if that will change that. So here we go. Loop knot real quick. Just since I got you, twirl it around. Doesn't really matter how many times. Put that bait right back through there. And then there's the gob and we decide where that knot's gonna be, which is roughly around half an inch right now, which is not bad, not bad. Let's try to- Good target right here, guys. Just sitting there on that stick right there, that stick up. So that's the guy we're going for. Ah, it fooled us, but it bit, which is nice. We went to a white jig, went away from the uh, carrot. Small guy right there, but man, did that fool us. Either way, it's a fish, and we got the thump. That's what I always talk about, Ren Lake. It's always, it's got a very good distinguishing thump. I mean, these fish definitely commit to the bait. A uh, lot different from my home lake where it's a tick and those fish will really spit it out. But here at Ren Lake, no doubt about it, they, uh, they, they, they give you a thump, man. You feel it. Oh, baby. <laughs> 
All right, definitely a step up, but still not what we're looking for. But up in the water column, guys, only about four feet below the surface. Pretty crazy, we're gonna let that guy go. They're reacting, they're biting. Uh, water temperature's definitely cooler than it is at my home lake at 75. And uh, we've had a lot of rain in the area, so I'm sure that cooled off the water uh, quite a bit. But I'll tell you what, they're roaming around here for sure. Now we're using the the Savage 13, okay guys? And if you remember, the Savage is a, uh, it's a 13 fo footer foremost, but it actually has some midsections that can change it into a 15 or a 16 footer. Now tournament fishing, we have been using it a lot as a 15 footer. That's kind of our favorite, our go-to, the 15 footer version. So check out the Savage, it's unique. It's like getting three rods in one, it's freaking awesome. But today we're using it as a 13 footer and the reason why is because these fish aren't spooking. Uh, they're, they're letting us get pretty darn close. So we're gonna keep it with a 13 footer. Mm. All right, good fish now, good deal. All right guys, here we go. Best fish of the day so far, solid fish. Solid fish here on, uh, on Run Lake. Here's the deal, fishing with the Savage, got the hair jigs rocking and rolling, using a white hair jig right now. It seems to be doing the trick. You really have to set it on the, uh, the fish's nose, but this is what I'm using right here. And uh, again, a lot of these baits are available at threepoundfishing.com. Now I am using one of these uh, Nyko, uh, tungsten weights right there uh provided uh with securing it with some uh beads on it on the braid and again i'm just using the optimized sniping braid which is working out absolutely perfect so that's the rig that's the setup hair jigs on muddy water is 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 definitely in my opinion the best solution whatsoever but it's not to say that we haven't used plastics before here we have definitely used plastics sometimes you want a bigger profile just so they make sure they see it i do think i'm running into that just a little bit here where they're just not seeing it um so with that you might want to try some bigger profiles but otherwise maybe some yellow or some really bright and obnoxious colors this is the e-frog right here with that gold head that's definitely a bait we're gonna we're gonna put on today and try that out as well but something obnoxious so they can see it. Now we've had a lot of rain, so this water has definitely muddied up and you know, it's hard for them to see. So you want something with a good profile and don't hesitate. This, the chartreuse from Bait Pop, stuff like that, that really light, brightens things up. It's, it's also probably a great solution. Let's put some more fish in the boat. Oh baby. Ooh. All right. Oh man, guys, it does not get much better than that. Went with an all chartreuse. And I haven't shown you all the catches because we've been catching some smaller ones. That's definitely a good slab right there. Good solid fish. Of course, we're letting them go right there. I want to talk to you guys a little bit about um, rod sizes. It's really important. Um, and I don't think people talk about it enough. You really want to utilize the smallest rod I wouldn't say the smallest rod, but you don't want to be utilizing a 15 footer if you don't need it because your hook set's going to be a little bit slower because of the size of the rod. For example, uh, I didn't show you some of the catches, but I did catch some on the 15 footer. And what I noticed was that I was missing a couple because of the, you know, it just takes a little bit longer to set that hook. It's not that it's a bad thing, but um, if you're able to get up on a fish, if the fish are really hitting that bait really hard, um, I always say bring your rod lengths a little shorter so I go back to my 13 footer is always my go-to on vertical jigging um, and I've even fished Rin Lake with a 10 footer I won't go any shorter than that but 10 footer is definitely something if I can get all the way up on a fish and especially if their bite is um, really good really big thump they've committed to it a 10 footer I'll even go to but usually my I usually go to is a 13 footer so I, I should just leave it there but just remember, you know, it doesn't always have to be a 15, it doesn't always have to be a 16 footer. You can really scale it back to that 13 footer. And that's what we, and that's kind of how, why we built the Savage the way that we built it. We built it so that you have that ability to change rod lengths on the fly. So if you're getting up on that fish, go back to the 13 footer. No need to fish with the 15 or 16 footer. I mean, it just takes a little bit longer to set that hook. So anyway, 
Here we go. So guys, this is a floater right here, single. And there's just been a ton of floaters around here, which has been pretty awesome right here. Right there. So we've been targeting a lot of those guys. Oh, baby. Uh, probably a smaller fish, but not a bad fish. That's a lot of fun. What a thump. Look at that, guys. Another fish. That's freaking awesome. Let him go. And look, he got another five right up here. Looks like might be on the point. Another floater. This is a might be a good sized floater right there. Single scoping fish, guys. Now I do guide on Rin Lake. I do guide, of course, on my home lake, Egypt. Um, if you guys are interested in coming out here, don't hesitate to give me a holler. I was, you know, especially during these months, I give people, you know, the option of what lake they'd like to go to. And if I can string a bunch of them together on Run Lake, I don't mind at all. Uh, just keeping the boat out, that type of thing. But right now we're just out here, again, continuing to do the, putting the time in. Just actually, this is great practice for Darbone, which is the championship coming up. And uh, all I do is looking around timber, looking around for floaters, and just a lot of fun. Oh, smoke. Oh, baby. <laughs> freaking awesome i don't know i think that really doesn't have much to do with color as it does about putting it right on their nose maybe a maybe a contrasting color let's right there guys we're gonna let that be anyway guys appreciate you guys watching nice white fish right there check them out uh check out the guide service come on out here to grin lake with me if you'd like to go on my home lake we can do that just as well uh great day Beautiful day, absolutely beautiful day of fishing. So I appreciate it. Please share the video. Take it easy, guys.